Welcome everyone, this is Zanta with Report Products. Today's video is on how to create a space schedule using diffusers and in particular working with the embedded schedule feature. Here I am in Revit 2019. I have a Revit MEP model that has been created. There are spaces in there already and as you can see you see some that say classroom and over here you have additional classrooms as well. If we head over to the project browser and head over to our schedules and quantities, I have a space schedule already created. Let's go ahead and open up that schedule. And you can see in this schedule, there is mark, family and type, system classification, and so on. You also have the zones and the actual supply return diffusers. So how did I create this embedded schedule within the space schedule? Over here in the properties panel, if I click edit under field, the schedule properties window opens up. Now you can resize this if you need to just to see a little bit further. <clears throat> On the left hand side, we have the fields tab and there are a whole bunch of vertical columns of data for your main space schedule. And here we have zones, numbers, room numbers, and so on. If we look very carefully, there is a tab called Embedded Schedule. Clicking this tab will give us the ability to turn on this feature. By default, it is turned off. So clicking the uh, check mark right here will allow for that feature to turn back on. So now that the check mark has been placed, we can specify what category of objects we want to have as the embedded schedule. In this case, I have air terminals. I'll click embedded schedule properties over here, and it allows you to open up a second schedule properties panel. In here, again, just like the primary one, you can specify what vertical columns of data that you need. In this case, I've specified mark, family and type, system classification, and so on. When we talk about the filter tab, we can use the filtering tool to tell the software, let's just show the data in this embedded schedule if it meets a certain criteria. In this situation, I'm telling the software, filter it by the flow, and if it's greater than or equal to a certain CFM, in this case, 125. I can also sort and group that data as well under mark, system type, uh, flow, and so on. The formatting tab gets into how does the data look within the cells. So for example, for flow, we can specify even conditional formatting as well as total calculations. And for conditional formatting, I have it set up so that if the flow is greater than or equal to some number that I've specified, it will color that cell red so we can visually see which particular air terminals uh, meet this criteria. Now that this is finished, when you click OK into both of them, your schedule will update. If I head over to the schedules sheet that I created earlier, and you can see the schedule is placed on the sheet, we can see how this is formatted and how it looks. So we've got the space schedule, we've got the zone and the mark, fam the number, the family, and the type, and the room number classification, and those particular cells where the conditional formatting is taking place. Okay, so this is a quick video on how to work with space schedules and how to use the embedded schedule feature for Revit. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for visiting Reaper Products and watching our video. And don't forget, we are specialized in sales, training, and consultation for Autodesk software. We have multiple certified instructors and offer a ton of value. We also have a 3D laser scanning services division and we can take care of multiple services, for example, field laser and point cloud processing, as well as others. We have printing services. We have wide format equipment sales and service and supplies. We have Xerox office and production equipment sales and services. And we also have drone aerial imaging as well. 
So if you'd like to find out more information about Repo products and all the different services that are available, please visit our website or send us an email via marketing at repoproducts.com. Thank you very much for watching.